Um, and then bleed, and then uh, what is one, it? One, one piece, piece is still one piece is still going. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I heard Fairy Tales ending was pretty bad too. When did that happen? Oh, like, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. Well, anyway. that's what I'm so scared about One Piece because I, I feel like that fan base is gonna be really upset when it finally ends, and they're not gonna be happy. Yeah, it's like what 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 do you do at that point? Like what show do you watch? Exactly. You know? Yeah, it's like we have My Hero Academia. That's about it at this point. Anyways, but here we go. Already starting off, Canine getting a decent amount of damage. When we lost all these two, it went down to the wire here. Root to meet back up here in Grand Finals. K9 from the losers and Master Mario from the winners. Yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the, the, the winners' final set was just them destroying each other. It went to a game five scenario, and then they went to a last stock situation. They just needed to find that one hit. Uh, both these two trading like crazy. Nair, like, yep, he's so close to it too. Yeah. Tech Chase? Oh, doesn't quite find it, but gets another one. I Master do Mario like looked a little spooked there. Oh, that's going to be a tough recovery spot there. But he has to go low and he's able to survive. Yeah. That's why we saw Kanan kind of stick out there with an air, too. Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, Master Mario had like a very slight drift back, so it made uh, Kanan a little bit hesitant to go for the edge guard. Mm -hmm. So he was able to survive still. Very great micro spacing from Master Mario to make it back to the stage. Interesting. He got hit by like the first hit of four tilt, and that's it. So he got popped oh. up. Good use of pummel there. Make sure it's gonna steal the sock. Has to go for that low recovery there, using the wolf fire. Great parry, down throw, and the nice twenty-four percent right back at him. Yeah, I thought he was going for the second dash attack there, but not quite. Master Mario kind of doing a panic up B, trying to get out of that scary situation. Not gonna read a double jump. Thought he was gonna get it back air there, not quite. I don't know what's scarier, a wolf that kills or a wolf that parries and just takes things away Ooh. here. But Master Mario will say none of them are scarier than me. Forward smash to the face, and we'll see you in next stock. Oh. Reads the spot dodge there. It's so good for reading spot dodge, too. Forward smash. It's yeah. got a small stall. All right, he's going to make it back to he's going to make it back to the recovery every time. But it's just a matter of how he gets back to the stage. That's the, that's the main question. Oh, at the back of the down smash, I'll close it out. Okay, picks him up with the up airs. That's a great opportunity. Gets no. out of that combo, though. Back throw. Okay, there's the forward smash. Ooh, not quite spacing correctly on the grab. Gonna try and still close out the stock, but K9 just keeping up with his lead so well. Touch race, nice, but this time he uses the hot to kind of find out where Master Mario's gonna be. Yeah, he's been very hesitant. Mr. Mario has been really hesitant to actually go for these grabs. He's trying to wait for an option, and then when he realized K9's not gonna move, it's already too late. K9 started with another option already. Yeah. I did like that fake out jump from we saw from Kena in there. He kind of went for an up smash to take him out there, but up smash from Master Mario keeps it 1 1 here, but yeah. only the high percent on him. Yo, if Master Mario makes his comeback, he's actually got like. Yeah. I don't I don't doubt in my mind that it's possible. It's just that it would be very difficult at this point. Wolf can kill you with a plethora of things at this point. Okay, gets a grab. That's actually big. And he gets it on the platform. Nice. Not going to be able to follow up though. He's in that flood and he knows Kena is going to go to that platform with the flood afterwards. If my man brings it out to just at least 60, things could look possible for Master Mario. Yeah, you can tell. Oh! oh what a mix-up there on that dash attack. Yeah, I think he jumped out of that. So, we're well, just going to get caught by that. And that's the first game going to K9, actually. I was going to say, like, wait, what? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Anyways. Going to be sticking with the characters, yep. K9 really wants that reset. Obviously, they're both trying to win, but <laughs> starting off very nicely. Very commanding uh, game one there from K9. It's also good to see where these two players have also come from this current season, right? Like, like I mentioned earlier about K9. Look at Master Mara, right? A great showing at EVO. Also to come up Grand Finals, one of the side. Looking to bring it back against K9, 74% with his combos. Yeah, very great start. 
great way for Master Mario to answer back against K9. Wow, just <laughs> starts off with a forward smash. That does um, shift your hurt box, so that actually can get you away from a lot of different aggression options from K9. Yep. So. That was great punish there from a ledge, too. Very nice down smash, Ooh. and that's so hard to DI because usually you would expect Mario to go for up smash or some kind of follow from that. But let's be real, when when do you, do you see Mario down smash? Yeah, it's very rare, but that was a great option from Master Mario. Don't know if it'll work again, but still, uh, kept K9 off guard. Nair to push him back off stage. Another opportunity, gets a trade. No, actually, it just beats him out entirely. I like that. Waits for the opportunity to see the get up attack. Yeah. Just didn't quite. Uh, I think he was hoping for the miss tech and then go in for a punish. Yeah. But then the get up attack was already ha happening, so wasn't able to get a punish or a follow up after that. It's all about ideas, though. Ideas eventually fruition to um, execution. Now Smash comes in. Master Mario about to, oh, okay, there okay. we go. Three stock lead for Master Mario here. What a, what a comeback from Master Mario too. Could be a little early to call it there, but Master Mario has a bit of a download on K9. Yeah. The one thing I do like in, um, that I'm seeing here from Master Mario is that fireball approach. We did see him use it a little bit earlier in the first game here, but now that's what we're seeing it now. Ooh, that clank. I think he interrupted up smash before it finished up, oh. but there's the up tilt. He got 52% on him, though, before that was over. Yeah, and a two-stock lead. Gets the down throw. What's the option going to be? Go for it back there. Another opportunity at control. Okay, goes for the forward smash. Oh. Whoa. I feel like it, what, so from that range, I don't think that Wolf would have made it back. He already had, yeah, I, I saw him already use his jump too. Okay. Alrighty then. Yeah, uh, side B wouldn't do it, and then neither will be. Alrighty. Game three. I feel, I feel like it's going to go into a game five scenario again, just by the way these two are playing. But that was a very commanding second game for Master Mario, along yeah. the same stage too, so we'll have to see. We're going to Town and City. This is where Master Mario won on game five last time. I don't know, man. Is this the Town and City platforms when they're available in the Tri platform? Mario can get a lot of good damage off of it. Oh yeah. When well, you think about the format and the way that it is for Mario, right? There are so many stages of the platforms. Minus one, if you think about it, right? It was just Final Destination. He kind of benefits from this this platform meta. Yeah. It's kind of like the same as uh, Cloud, uh, where he worked so well on all the different platform stages. Yeah. And FD was pretty much the only thing he'd ban as a character, as a as a cloud player. Can you imagine just having to only have to worry about one band? Oh my god. That'd be that'd be nice. Down smash it again. One thing I do like that I'm seeing from Master Mars is unorthodox options. You is he gonna make it back? Oh no, he won't. Okay. <laughs> I was so worried for a second because yeah, he kept yeah. flooding and he kept drifting closer and closer to the stage. Mm -hmm. I thought Master Mario was gonna mess up, but he went for the cape. So I, I had that good. same fear. Yeah. Oh wow, shifted himself a little bit and he was able to get a follow up. Her box shifting is such a big prevalent thing in this game now, because if you think about it, it kind of harkens back to Namco Bandai's structure of video games, right? You got Tekken 7, where even the slightest move, if it doesn't hit the hurt box, it just will not register. Right. And that same can be seen here very much in Ultimate. Back air, nice, that's gonna seal the stock. Can I pumps himself right back into the chair here and gets on the driver's seat. Yep. He's not gonna let Master Mario walk away with another victory that easily. So Master Mario still with the control, spacing out those aerials. Oh, he's oh. the grab. Cannon is hot on the chase here. Fourth throw, no tech chase there. Trying to catch him. He didn't space out that forward tilt just enough closer. He was a little bit too far off. Great up smash from that platform. Kind of a call out there. Yeah, but the back air traded out with the first hit, so not going to get the second killing hit there. K9, though, did bring this back. Oh, just jab check. Gets a tech chase. Follows up with the grab. Gets the control again. See how Master Mario tries to close this out. Tries to go for an up smash. Not quite gonna connect, but he's able to land on the ground. Got himself a second time and does it that time around. K9 not ready for the second one. If the first you don't succeed, try again. Right. 
<laughs> I, the, the spacing, man, it's just there. It is really there for K9. I'm liking this grand final simply yeah. because it is the measurement of both of these players, how far they've come this season. Alright, gets the grab. What's the follow up gonna be? Just goes for the dare and waits for another follow up afterwards as they land yeah. on the ground. I oh, like that attempt to look at the landing there. Woo! K9 with the pop off on top of it, man. If anything, that was a return to sender. Man. He just kept DIing in, DIing in, and then turn around bear. Before he knew it, he was dead. Yeah. And that's the panic option, too. Like, you're so afraid of being away from the ledge that your first response is to DI in towards the stage, hoping you fall out and make it back. Yeah. It's like Sheik. Sometimes people just DI in towards Sheik, and you should be DIing out. The last thing you want to be is in another fair. Mm -hmm. That was very scary, but there we go. Can I with a little bit of pop up? Master Mario just going to go right back into it. I don't know, man. I feel like you're a psychic edge, and you might be right on this game five. We'll see how things go here for K9. Got himself another grab. Oh, I think he's dead. No. Never mind. <laughs> it, it happened last uh, last set that they played, too. He, I thought he got the setup on that tall platform, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden he just didn't. That time, he, the first time he didn't get it because he B reversed uh, cape instead of. Oof. He B reversed cape instead of going for up B. That time around, I don't know what happened. He just didn't, like, time it right or something. Ledge option? With the parry and solid choice to punish. Ooh. I was going to say, I would have loved to have seen that punish from the parry with an up smash, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. At this point, we're almost playing, pretty much perfectly playing footsies here. Yeah. Good. So that was a good choice. He wanted Fireball out there. He wanted Kena to kind of stop moving around and kind of hold him in place there, but Kena was literally just away from that situation. Yeah, it's a little bit too far off on the aim there. <laughs> Ooh, picks him up with Dare of all things. And fades back, gets another grab out of it. That was very nice, very slick from Master Mario. He's looking for the landing too. Mario, Master Mario's kind of slowed himself up to a T there, and unfortunately, I felt like that might have been the fact that he was uh, shield poked. Gets another grab here. Picks him up. Fair. Oh, I didn't get the spike hitbox. Almost there, though. I like it, though. That it does give Master Mario a little bit of stage control. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Oh. I, I think I, he didn't realize he had his jump, maybe. That, and I feel like it was a stun from being in uh, Reflector. Uh-huh. I've never seen Flood or Water Reflected. So I feel like that property kind of slowed things for down for K9. Mm -hmm. He 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 was able to survive, but yeah, it looked like the because the last couple times the flood only hit like twice on the shine. Yeah. But the, that time it looked like it just kept following him. So maybe he got stuck the whole time down there. No, listen, you know what they say out there, man. We take those, and Master yeah. Mario will take that and cash it in. Got that cross up. Not able to get a grab out of it. K9 ready for it. Just gets a full hop into it back here. I do want to see that spacing coming off from Master Mario as well, though. K9 has been so immaculate about it so far this game. These few, I'm sorry, these few games here, but Master Mario has yet to have found a spacing of his own. Good back air. Another back air. I don't want to call the shots a little bit too early, but I think Master Mario kind of got a hold on this next game. Yeah. Looks like we're going to get a go to a game five. Unless Kenai does something crazy. It's Wolf, like anything, anything possible. But I mean, still. Man, man, I did rob him from the bank a couple game, a game ago. Yeah. Okay, now there's now this is becoming a problem. Master Mario kind of fishing yes. for that uh, smash attack. So he's got to be a little bit careful. <laughs> oh, it boy. was so close to that back air. What a cross up and what a change up. He knew that once he crossed them up, the first reaction can I would have here is I'm safe. I need to hit me with anything. I can let go of the shield. And Master Mario sends it out. Yeah, I think uh, that shield poked actually. Yeah. That that looked like nothing can I could have done really except parry. Yeah, and but you can actually angle the shield enough to avoid that. Yeah. All well, right. Sedge, you look like you're a psychic here at game five situation. All Either right, Vance, who you got? I'm very poor at betting. <laughs> I don't, don't want to. No, I, I'm terrible at betting, too, so we'll probably pick both pick the wrong person. I'm going to. Uh, okay, let's pick our winner. We'll, we'll say it at the same time. Okay, one, one two, two, three. three. Mario. Mario. 
That's my right. Yeah, so okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means we're, he's going to lose, right? <laughs> 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 All right, he's got the momentum from this last game, though. So let's see yeah. how he starts off. Okay, gets a little bit of damage on that platform. Can I just escaping back? I mean, I feel like we both said Master simply because you said he started to slowly get a hold of this game. Yeah. I thought K9 looking to make sure he lands on the stage, no reset on the ledge. Big damage. Oh, gets a clank there. He gets a trade, able to escape that situation. Oh, no oh. double jump. Okay, my man. Lands barely. on the platform. He's, oh. he's all right. Yeah. That pl those platforms looking like a magic carpet ride, and he was barely able to catch each one. Good, okay, good attempt there. Thought he was gonna roll from the ledge. Oh, trying to read a roll. That would have been really sick for Master, actually. Not quite finding it, though. As he get back on the ledge. Okay, uses the platform to his advantage. Yeah. The man's able to bounce himself around and get back to the middle of the stage here. <laughs> I like it. I like it. K-Line's presence and spacing there is all the fear that was into Master Mario's head. He knows, like, it can't just be there just yet. Cross up from back air. Trades back to the edge. Cannon is doing such a good job of making sure if anywhere in Master Mario is going, it's the ledge. Once again, he fights for the middle. It's just a matter of that one hit that you know is going to be able to close yeah. out the stock. And every time Master Mario gets a cross up, he's always on the ledge. Will he get an up smash this time oh, around? No. no, he won't. How about a second time? Yes, no. he will, but it's not enough to kill. Down there that will, the yeah. Alrighty, Master Mario got himself a very decent sized lead. Okay, uh, wave land back onto the stage. I like it. <laughs> good good re-grab there. Yeah, reset the, reset with a soft reset there. Landing with Nair. Great top, great opportunity to stop himself. We're going to see how Master Mario is going to land and respect it. That's a landing up air. Will oh, this be death? No, no, no. Good. He stopped yeah, himself he's, there. He's not opting for it. Very interesting, actually. He's going to take the percent, and at this point, that's what he's looking for. Just percent. He brings it one step closer. He nods his head. He says, you know what? I got a big lead here. I'll work with it. Yeah. Definitely a different mindset from the first set. The first set, he was shaking his head. He was very down on himself every time he got opened up. This time around, looks like he's a little bit more in control of his emotions, and in turn, he's in control of the set as well. Yeah. Cannon, very control of himself, though. Look at that 45 percent he's already put in Master Mario. Yeah, but it's a matter about who's going to get that next stock. I think that's going to be a big determiner or determinant of who can potentially take the set here. He's bringing it close. He had him at the, at the platform. Like it waits. Takes the landing option. Oh, Ooh. he went for it. Oh, he has to go so far off, too. Yeah. Oh, the wow, they traded. Okay. Actually, no, I think that straight up beat it out. And he didn't take it, so but the back air, not enough to do it. Another flood? No, this time he's gonna be able to use that spot dodge. Sorry, air dodge. If you do go for neutral air dodge, for those of you guys wondering, you suffer less analyte from going for directional. Yes. Oh man, Master Mario looking like in the tough spot. Ooh, K9 with that micro spacing. You saw it, he just yeah. walked a bit and he's able to punish that up smash on whiff. That's a very hard move to punish on whiff, actually. Poor Xenos. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Uh, he wanted it so much. He, okay, there's 81 percent. This is do or die. Either the reset or the or the game for Master Mario. We'll see how things go. Can I though? Like you said, it's the micro spacing that's paying all the bills here. Will he get that one grab or that one rising up air to be able to get that combo started? Oh, Doesn't like look it. like it's happening here though. Can I looking to try and get that reset? Mm, oh, and there it is. He's There's fighting, the reset. He's fighting for the middle of the stage, and I'm telling you, man, it's all it is there is Kenan making sure wherever he's going to be at, it's Master Mario at the ledge. All right, uh, let's not bet on the winner of the set this time, because we totally just cursed Master Mario there. Yeah, that, we did, that, we was, did. that was really bad. Okay. <laughs> My man Woo! popped off and said, first things first, restroom break. All righty. Yep. So, of course, you can. I have to take a break in the middle of it, or in between sets. It is a new set after all, so mm -hmm. let's see here, though. Yeah, actually, got a little bit of downtime. Hope you guys are enjoying Evicent yeah. 209. How many people we got in the chat today? We got over 500. Yeah. Very nice. Thanks to everyone for showing up every week to uh, catch up this button mashing madness here. <laughs> I didn't say it. The, the The event description says it's button mashing mayhem. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, actually, my favorite thing is 
in SoCal, people say, like, oh, he just mashes. Some mm-hmm. people say mashing. So I want somebody to win, like, a high-level tournament. He gets interviewed, right? And he's like, hey, man, how did, how did you win the tournament? He says, you know what? Mashing. That's how I did it, mashing. Yeah. You, ma- you mash spot dodge cancel, and you pray to God. Mm-hmm. And there's Charles in the back, you know, just uh, counting all the monitors and yeah. uh, going to bring them back. All righty. K9 is back. The venue is empty. We are here. Everyone's just here silently watching who is going to be the winner of MSM number 209, folks. Speaking of everyone here, this game has 90 characters. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, just to think about it, this game literally has 90 characters. Yeah. It's like, I think it's actually more close to 80. Yeah. I think after the two DLC packs, it'll be 90 yeah. pretty much, yeah, if you include Echoes and everything. Starting on Stadium. Now, since this is a new set, well, it will be interesting to see how both of these players take it. Do they go a little bit off of their comfort zone, or do they go with the same game plan they've always been going with, you know? Well, that's the thing, too, right? Like, if you're if for Master Mario, the game plan didn't seem to work last game, right? Can I have so much control that down there going to give Master Mario a lot more control? The stage and the edge guard, way to read the let up. The get, I'm sorry, the ledge get up. I lost all my words all at once, and that wolf flash will be stopped by the water. Yep, very nice. Actually, clank with the fireball there. Can I look a little reminiscent of, uh, I'm sorry, of Tyrant? You know, I have, back in the day when Tyrant would definitely go out to high level sets, this oh. man would be sweating, he'd be in there. Yeah, have you seen that um, that little meme? It was like concentration, and it's like Tyrant, yes. <laughs> like with like wide eyes and yeah, like, I'm telling yeah, you, in, man, that, in that gamer pose. It's, uh, man, these two were cut from the same cloth. Yeah. I'm, I'm told by Larry, it, it falls back onto a player known as DSF way back when. Uh, that's a story for another time right here. The story is Master Mario versus K9. Two stocks to two. K9 finally gets the grab, puts this man in further disadvantage. Yeah, bad position to be in. He's able to make... Oh, never mind. I thought he was going to make it back, actually. Master Mario thought so, too. But he just gets interrupted by Nair immediately. Man, the ledge trap and K9 all of a sudden turning it up the heat here. I'm not liking the face that Master Mario has here. He's definitely beating himself up here. He's got to stay calm. If anything, the K9 is feeding off this negative energy that Master Mario has towards himself. Yeah. And you saw there, too, he just uh, stood still for a bit. He's got to give himself a little bit of time to collect himself. Mm-hmm. He's only game one of the second set. He's still got a lot of time to try and bring things back around. He can't give up yet. Oh, I like that. On the platform for a reason. Dash attack. Just no top. double jump. That was such a scary position. And that side be saved him for just a second. Yeah. From the looks of it. I, I understand he wanted to get the guaranteed kill. I think Softnair would have done it. But uh, you know what? He's still in the lead, so he's still good here. I feel like Wolf has slowly become the character of SoCal. Well, as of late, we've seen Charlie win a couple tournaments with Wolf. Mm-hmm. There will be a Wolf in Grand Finals for sure. Yeah. Lots of Wolves happening here. What's the option going to be? Up till <laughs> okay, two stock for K9. Most of the time when K9's been winning these games in the set, it's always been like a one stock, barely uh, at 90, yeah. barely taking the set, the game there. That was a very commanding start, mm-hmm. and I think that's gonna set the tone for the rest of the set here. The commanding start and the loss of confidence for Master Mario. Yeah, both of them. Both of these factors, I think, is gonna be quite determined of what's to come. Master Mario looking like he's getting kind of tired. You know what? It's 12.10. It's yeah. past midnight. This is pretty late. <laughs> so I can't blame him, but you know what? We still got to set the play. We got to find out who's going to be the winner tonight, everybody. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Did Stay you awake. see that? Yeah, that was big. Stay awake, ladies and gentlemen. Don't touch the keyboard. Don't even touch the mouse here. There's a game to be played, and hopefully Master Mario finds himself a bigger lead here with 92%. Yeah. Switching over to Wedding Mario. I know Master Mario said that when he switches costume, he switches play styles too. I don't know if that is 100% true anymore because he revealed it to everyone, but... Uh, <laughs> hey, man, a true magician never reveals his secrets, and he looks like a white magician for sure. All righty. Whew. Taking him to the other side. Oh, uh, man, he uh, was trying to read a roll yeah, or spot he, dodge or something. I feel like he wanted the Smash 4 Classic roll behind, grab back throw. Yeah. Another trade that actually puts Master Mario in a worse position than before. K9 with such tight control over his back airs, yeah. able to try to catch short hop and full hop. But he's going to get clipped by an off smash there. What a great way to read that roll. Get up and push the K9 and miss the timing with back air too. Death? 
No, I, you, you, you just, sometimes you just hope for it, man, but it's not quite happening here. But there we go. The dare is going to be able to close it out there. I mean, at this point, I'm eating my words. Master Mario, like I said, the change of the costume here is going to be probably what Master Mario needed. Yeah. That white magic definitely looking to play off. Yeah, and he's clipping on the damage even more. I mean, sometimes Wolf can have a little bit of struggle killing if he doesn't get the right hit until like a very high percent. Yeah. But that's not the case here. He's going to get that up smash. Only about 12% extra credit. But he's got another stock to work with too, so that's really big here. And I did love that position. He put the back air. Master Mario already had to respect it from conditioning before. <laughs> and he knew he was going to be in that just enough space for that up smash to connect. Yes. That's some stuff Charlie thinks about, man. Another dash attack. Oh, gets the falling up air. Oh, forward smash. What a punish there. He knows he overcommitted. Mm -hmm. oh. All right, let's see if K9 can try and bring himself back here. He's got himself 100%. Kind of a scary position to be against Mario, but he's getting those trades. That works in his favor, actually. Oh, boy. Bad position to be in. He's got a... Oh, he's, whoa. Yeah, yeah, he seals this man's positioning for sure. Man, that was just a Hail Mary cape there. Yeah, that I, was. Yeah, like it. Oh, boy. That was the end out, y'all. I'm betting all on black. Yeah. Cape. That was crazy, man. Hold on. That's why the magician has a cape, man. All righty. Oh, shout out to Charlie, man, because that kid really be sitting there in his stream, having the most inconsiderable wolf combos of all time. Like, things that work at only, like, random percents on certain characters at certain positions. Yeah, they're uh, definitely not practical. Yeah, they're, they're never practical, man. That's why they're sometimes so practical. Yeah. Like, Some, sometimes. last dog situations, I've seen them, I've seen them get it, like, once. Yeah. And then, yeah, it works out for him. But most of the time. <laughs> he laughs about it, yeah, too. Yeah, like, you don't see it too often. But anyways, here we go. The things that kid has done to Chag, man. Nightmares on this. Nightmares <laughs> on the nightmares. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into it. Hopefully, we'll see not a nightmare for K9 because it is 1-1. Oh. Fair nair, fair nair. This oh. looks like a nightmare indeed. We're not even in a nightmare on Smashville. And it's looking like the nightmare on Town and City. My man is about to massacre Master Mario. Yeah, but it looks like Master Mario's got another opportunity. He's got the FD variant, so he's not going to be able to extend onto any platforms. But he mm -hmm. does get any. He does get some raw damage for the back air. Oh, he committed the out of shield. Master Mario looking to psych himself back in. I feel that one thing Master Mario probably should be changing from the fireballs is fade away from that instead of approaching right. it. Right. Mm -hmm. Cause him to hold shield to come back towards center stage. That's the battle here. It's been the battle since last though, since the reset. And the read on the Ooh. come in, dude. He takes off the headphones and he's going back in. Master Mario is not like the heat he feels. Yeah. He's changing up his game plan here. No headphones this time. Just uh, the sounds of the crowd and the and us, actually. Yeah. So we'll see. Master Mario trying to bring himself back around. Back air. I like that. This time, a little bit calm here. Sets up the back air to see if he's going to go for that high. Oh, man. Can I looking very confident in this last, next game, though? Oof. Oh, I, okay, so that was a situation where Master Mario, if he would have gotten a tech, that would have been something Kanai would have been looking at here. But Master Mario just, he needs to stay calm, man. He's, he's losing a lot of himself here. 2-1. Two, two, yeah, 2-1. What it? I wonder what K9 suggested, or what Master Mario suggested. K9 is like staring and thinking. Yeah. Things for for Master Mario to look at. Like I said, stop coming in with fireball. Fade away with it. Take take advantage of the fact that you know he's holding shield. This buys time for me to come back on the stage. Those small victories will lead to a bigger one in play. Yeah. Is that a Mickey watch? Sorry. Yes, it is. Whoa. All right. Let's see if Master Mario can try and. Collect himself here. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about, man. Staying calm and we re All right, there's a psych up, man. Yeah. He's got to go Ultra Instinct. He's got the shirt. He's already channeling that energy. I was going to going to Smashville. <laughs> I know I've been playing on punts here, but Nightmare on Smashville. Let's see if Master Mario can escape the Nightmare and hopefully find himself in a dream of Smashville. This is big, 85. Great Ooh, parry. The parry's come in. Oh, the man is yeah. psyched himself back. The homies are behind him, and he's not going to let that 
Yeah, he definitely went Ultra Instinct all of a sudden. Wow, that, yep. the angle on that, too. Sometimes all you need is the friends behind you to carry on the victory. That's, you know, that's how Goku actually was able to beat Jiren. He <laughs> did not do it alone. <laughs> yeah, he's got to get that energy for the Spirit Bomb, man. Hey, here we go. Another combo potentially for Master Mario. This is a great pick on the counter pick. Mm -hmm. Actually got a lot, or actually very little space. Oh, I like so that, that allows for K9 not to be able to escape any of these mm -hmm. combos, really. Ooh. All right, uh, uncharacteristic SD from K9 so far yeah. in Wait, this set. He, 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 kind of, he nods to it and he takes it. So he's like, right, I know what I did wrong here. Yeah. He's got himself uh, down three stocks to one here. And now I know why Strides really love commentating this guy yeah. from Winner's Side. This was an intense battle and it's still going on going. Uh, interesting air dodge. I don't know if he really meant to do that. But he's got himself another opportunity here. I like that the fast fall gets a, away from the scoop uh, hitbox from the up smash. Mm. It's something that Master Mario needs to also consider the fact that every time he's been going for spot dodge, Woo! he's been punished by forward smash. And this is the return from Master Mario game five here. Yeah, that was like a minute and a half game or that something. Was, that was crazy. All Momentum right. in his hands. Yeah. Momentum in his hands, Fami on his back. Now we're going to have to see how this closes out. Game mm -hmm. five again. They, these guys are on game 15. <laughs> they are. That's the 15 crazy. games. Game shout, 15. Shout out to the one guy in the background, man. They, <laughs> they are here for him. They are here Lend for him. Lend their energy. Lend them the <laughs> Lending energy. their energy. Hey, man, put, put some energy on K9. Hold on, man. Don't, <laughs> there's some bias. There's some bias, man. Give K9 some energy, too, man. There you go. Thank, thank you, Fred. Thank you. Oh, my God. All righty. Hey. Let's see, man. Don't, don't give, man. Put, get some this K9 is it. has been on, on a roll this, this is it, man. It's late. Everyone's trying to go home. This is it, the last game. Three stocks left until we declare a winner here at MSM. What time you open the restaurant tomorrow, fam? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have work. I work off. All right, that's <laughs> no, good. We're good. That's we're good. good. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, working, yeah. Working. yeah, yeah. Thank God I'm not opening tomorrow. Anyways, here we go. Master Mario already starting off with a big combo, 42%. Mm -hmm. Trying to find his way in. Okay, k is going to get something here. Quick wall <laughs> jump extends that into a combo as well. I love it. And that's something you would not expect. I, I would not expect that to happen to me at all. Yeah. And obviously, K9 didn't expect it either. He kind of got blown up there on that combo. Mm -hmm. Now, Samario, he's got a lot of room this time to retreat anytime K9 tries to push advantage here, too. Yeah. Smash Foe, he was able to keep up aggression. This time, he's keeping up defense. Master Mario doing a good job of uh, adapting to the stages, advantages and disadvantages. Exactly. Here. But the one thing I do want to see, speaking of adaptation for K9, is these double jumps. He's been getting caught by Master Mario. He goes for a jump in. I, he kind of needs to start looking at, okay, maybe I need to play a little more grounded here. There we go. Gets a dash attack. No jump Holds from him for the leg. grab. Yeah, just comes out of nowhere, actually. Master Mario definitely survived Ooh, by that. This time he holds the shield there, and once again, he knows I can't spot dash that. Oof. Looking like Smash 4 Mario just hunting, but there we go. The mm -hmm. dare closes it out. Two stocks left for Master Mario to close out MSM here. I don't want any bias, man, but I want to see Karen fight back here. Can't just let it end this way. And what a change up the force smash on the safety of <laughs> the shield, man. Oh, boy. I'm telling, this is what I want to see the grudge match, the game five scenario here. All right, but a fireball startup. Guess a grab here. What's the option going to be? Okay, just goes away from the platform. Not going to allow Master Mario for an extension. <clears throat> he's got to watch out with those spot dodges. I'm telling you, he's been feeling really good about him so far. Oh, picks him up with the up tilt. Can he get anything else? No, he does not. There we go. Another grab combo. Platform there. Oh, that's a fair. I like it. He knows where he's running back. Ooh. He's running back towards the middle of the You stage. can't escape. This is such a big chase from Master Mario, and he's still not done yet. But there we go. Now he's done. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, hold on. Let me, let me calm down for a yeah, second, yeah, yeah. right? All right. K9's got himself a chance to come back. Ooh. I thought that was going to be like purposely shield poke or something. <laughs> that would have been nasty. And look, it's so small to the almost shield break. Good back air. He knows he's coming in with those aerials. Once again, K9 has to play a little grounded. Looking for something to find his way to in. Corner trade here. This is definitely something that Master Mario has been feeling the toughness against. Oh, the old double jump. Makes it back to the stage. Ooh, oh, turn cool. around. Cross him up from <laughs> underneath of Smash. K9's got to fire back. Yeah. But here we go, gets another grab. 
Good opportunity. Not able to get anything. Can't catch the landing. The spot dodge comes through. Oh, but picks him up with the up airs. Platform, and he likely he knows he's going to go away. Oh, <laughs> the flood to put it back at the corner. Perry comes in. Oh, that force smash the wrong way. K9 kind of fishing for the kill here, and Master Mario is bringing this all the way to the bank here. Man, he saw the retirement check. He's like, hold up, that's looking like a mighty <laughs> number. I want to collect it first. All right, one more grab. K9 going in for the gamer pose, or excuse me, the gamer lean, you know? When you all of a sudden last I, I, stock situation. Because the Star Fox character, I love to call it all range mode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's he get around here? Yep. Can he jump. close out the stock, though? That's the question. He had the positioning. He had the back. He should have stayed center stage. He let. Woo! There yes. it is. The four smash that pop off from Master Mario. And the fist bump, dude. And the fist bump to boot. Ladies and gentlemen, Master Mario started even with the crowd. Ooh, man. <sighs> All right, and there it is, Master Mario with the victory here tonight. Taking it over K9 